Harry Potter has a lot of intriguing characters, animals, and spells, but probably the most mysterious substance is Felix Felicis. Also called Liquid Luck, this potion basically guarantees you a perfect day. And if Seamus Gorman is correct, it's what ultimately saved Harry, Ron, and Hermione in the Battle of Hogwarts. But recently, John Carlin has theorized that the potion actually doesn't do anything, and that it's all one large placebo effect. So what I'm going to do today is analyze both theories, discuss thoughts on my own, and then make one big conclusion about what this liquid actually does. Hey everyone, I'm CTO, and Felix Felicis was a potion first introduced in the Half-Blood Prince by Professor Horace Slughorn, who has his own problems, but that's a whole other video. Here's a clip of how Slughorn describes Felix Felicis. What you see before you, ladies and gentlemen, is a curious little potion known as Felix Felicis, which it is more commonly referred to as... Liquid luck. Yes, Miss Granger. Liquid luck. Desperately tricky to make, disastrous should you get it wrong. One sip and you will find that all of your endeavors succeed. At least until the effects wear off. So going aside from Hermione's semi-obnoxious calling out in class, Slughorn states that liquid luck is both very tricky to make and disastrous if made wrong, but he does also say that it is extremely rewarding if made right or at least until the effects wear off. Seamus Gorman made one of his best theories on the subject, theorizing on how Aberforth Dumbledore could have given Harry, Ron, and Hermione Felix Felicis right before they entered the Battle of Hogwarts. This would explain why all three of them somehow managed to avoid the many, many curses targeted at them in the battle. But there's also John Carlin's theory, being that Felix Felicis actually does nothing, with evidence of great potion masters never using it. Or even, let's say, Lord Voldemort. Why wouldn't he use it for one of the many times he tries to kill Harry? So this potion obviously has many unsolved mysteries about it. Because both theories make perfect sense, and they both have lots and lots of evidence. But the thing is, neither is correct. Pottermore describes Felix Felicis almost as if it is an actual person, not a substance. And so does Harry when he takes Felix Felicis in the Half-Blood Prince. I know, but I've got a really good feeling about Hagrid. I feel it's, it's the place to be tonight. Do you know what I mean? As if there was an actual person inside of him, guiding him to make the right decisions. Well, maybe there kind of is. Maybe Felix Felicis actually knows right from wrong and good from evil. And that is why Felix Felicis isn't utilized more often. You can't use it for treacherous or evil things, which is why Voldemort and his Death Eaters don't. As much as I like John Carlin's theory, I do think the evidence points to Felix Felicis doing something. Harry gives some to Ron, Hermione, and Ginny before the battle at the Astronomy Tower in the Half-Blood Prince, and again, all three of them come out without a scratch on themselves. Events that aren't even in their control, like curses ricocheting and deflecting all over the place, manage to miss them. During the time when Harry uses the potion, all of these events go right for him. Filch leaves the doors to the castle open, Slughorn agrees to come to Aragog's funeral, Harry runs into Ginny, and just before the potion's effects were about to wear off, he slips past Peeves and goes peacefully back into the castle. Almost absurdly perfect. But all of these events are good, or at least not evil. Little events that are more of a direct desire of the user, like love and unlock doors, are okay with Felix, as they wouldn't affect the wizarding world in an evil way. Also, notice how Felix Felicis is gold. Gold symbolizes extravagance, riches, and brightness, quite the opposite of anything dark and malicious. But if anyone with good intentions can use Felix Felicis, then why don't they? Well, Slughorn says that Felix Felicis is both a very hard potion to make, and disastrous if made wrong. The potion takes a whole six months to brew, and one of the ingredients, an Akami eggshell, is very rare, as we know from Fantastic Beasts. So it would make sense if the reason simply was, most people either don't know how or can't afford to make liquid luck. But 
wait, what about the wealthy, skilled potions masters out there? Well, remember, Felix Felicis will only work when doing good, and it's also very time-consuming and dangerous, all for one perfect 12 hours. And even if you manage to make a successful potion, taking too much can lead to recklessness and extreme overconfidence, which could be very bad. So tell me what you think. Is Felix Felicis only used for good things, and is its difficulty level the reason why it's not utilized more often? Again, I feel like the potion has to do something, since it helped Harry, Ron, Hermione, and Ginny so much with things not even within their control. Anyway, look for a Voldemort Patronus theory up soon, then maybe one on Into the Woods, and until then, see ya.